tudo bem galera? Fala aí quem tá falando é o Paulo aqui. Bom, agora nós vamos fazer o drill aqui no, no navio do Princess Cruise. E o que, que é isso? É a hora que nós vamos para nosso lugar em caso o navio comece a afundar. Nós temos um lugar certo para ir colocar os nossos salva-vidas, que está aqui no quarto, e ficar numa fila que é um dos barquinhos que tem, que eu vou mostrar para vocês. Então eu vou mostrar isso agora. Mais ou menos esse. Tá mó calor hoje aqui na Flórida, ainda tô aqui, o navio não saiu ainda, ele não pode sair, enquanto todos os passageiros não fizerem o drill, não passarem pelo teste, aprender o que fazer em caso de emergência. Valeu, eu vou estar tá usando o óculos gravador. Então a imagem vai estar tá meio assim, meia doidinha, meia rápida. Mas espero que tenha ficado legal para vocês, valeu? Dá uma olhadinha aí, ó. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Firstly, on behalf of all of us at Princess Cruises, I would like to welcome you aboard the Caribbean Princess, and I hope that you have an enjoyable cruise. Princess Cruises is a consummate host, and as such, your safety is our highest priority. Therefore, may I now request your complete attention while I outline some important safety information. The signal you have just heard is the general emergency signal, which consists of seven or more short blasts followed by one long blast on the ship's whistle and alarms. This is the only signal that requires you to take action in an emergency and is used to call you to your master station. A master station is an area of safety when passengers assemble in an emergency. The general emergency signal is not the signal to abandon ship. If you should hear this signal at any time, including when the ship is in port, without having been warned that drills are taking place, you should proceed to your stateroom, collect your life jacket, warm clothing, a head covering, and any medication that you normally use, then carrying your life jacket, go to the master station, which is specified on the safety notice by your sailor door. The master stations of Caribbean Princess are located on decks number six and seven. Guides will be positioned on the stairways to direct and assist you. Please walk quickly and quietly. If for any reason you are prevented from returning to your stateroom, you should go directly to your master station. Once there, a life jacket will be obtained for you by a crew member. When you reach your master station, you should wait quietly for the instructions and information which will be broadcast over the public address system or given to you by the officer in charge of the room. Do not put on your life jacket until instructed to do so. When you arrive at your master station, you will be accounted for using our electronic mustering system. Speed up this process and let us determine that you are all safe Please ensure that you bring your cruise card with you. As you will have seen at the beginning of this drill, you will be scanned into the master station in a similar way to when you board or disembark the vessel. In the highly unlikely event that this is necessary to abandon ship, an order will be given verbally from the bridge. The staff in your master station will then divide you into groups and take you to the survival craft. In an emergency, it is possible that the incident may last for some time. It is therefore our press to muster passengers away from the elements in one of our lounges. Only if it is necessary to abandon ship will you be taken to embark in the lifeboats and life rafts. Members of the ship's company will now indicate the exits from your master stations to the survival craft. In the event it is necessary to abandon ship, Designated door checkers at each of these doors will direct the correct number of people to each of the survival craft. You would follow the guides who would lead you to your lifeboat or life raft. There are other signals which do not directly affect passengers. These alert the crew for specific duties and do not require any action by you. You will be given prior notice of any crew drills involving the use of these signals in the Princess Pattern and by broadcast. In the event of a fire and a drills, your route may be blocked by fireproof doors. Although they are heavy, these doors may be opened by hand and will close automatically behind you. 
there are alternative exits from every passenger space. And you should take a few moments to thoroughly familiarise yourself with the area surrounding your stateroom. In the event of an emergency, a low-level guidance system is available. If the visibility in your area is reduced so that you cannot see the normal exit signs, you should keep close to the floor and crawl if necessary. Follow the light strip and it will lead you to an exit. It is important that you do not use the elevators in an emergency as you may become trapped in the event of a power failure. If you have mobility difficulties and feel that you may need assistance in an emergency, we have people specially allocated to the task of looking after you. Let your stateroom steward and the passenger services desk know today in order that special arrangements can be made. Never obstruct the corridors with furniture or other items including scooters, wheelchairs or other mobility devices. It is a safety requirement that alleyways remain clear in the event of an emergency. So all items must be kept in your stateroom. Items found blocking the corridors will be removed. Should you smell smoke or discover a fire, press one of the red fire alarm buttons situated around the ship. This warns the bridge so that immediate action can be taken. Please note that you will not hear the alarm bells ring when you press the fire alarm. If you should see anyone pull on the side, you should throw a life buoy or anything else which will float over the side. Shout, man overboard, and inform the nearest crew member. Please assist us to maintain the security of the ship by showing your cruise card to the member of the ship's company at the gangway when leaving or boarding the ship at each port. They may require to search your hand baggage. Do not carry on board any parcels or baggage for the benefit of a stranger. We regret having to restrict visitors to the ship, but you will appreciate that these simple precautions are necessary and we would ask for your cooperation. There are areas that are marked for crew only. Please do not enter these areas even if you are invited to by a crew member. Never sit on the ship's side rail, including those on stateroom balconies, or allow children to do so even when holding them. Princess Cruises is committed to the protection of the environment, so please do not throw anything over the side. This includes matches and cigarettes which can be drawn back into the ship and cause a fire. For those of you who smoke, we strongly request that you never throw lighted cigarette ends, matches or cigarette butts over the ship's side. These can lie undetected and create a serious fire. Never leave burning, smoking materials unattended and please use the receptacles and ashtrays placed around the ship's side rails in designated smoking areas to dispose of used smoking materials. May we take this opportunity to advise you that smoking is no longer permitted in staterooms and on stateroom balconies. We ask that you never use lighted candles, lanterns or any open or naked flames in your stateroom, bathrooms or balconies, as these can be easily knocked over or blown over and initiate a fire. In addition, please do not leave towels items of clothing or other personal items on your balcony when you are not in your stateroom. You are reminded that the use of irons, kettles, coffee makers and non-thermostatically controlled water heaters is strictly prohibited in staterooms. Further information can be found on this and other safety related subjects in the safety section of your stateroom portfolio. If you would like more information about our emergency procedures, please ask at the passenger services desk for a copy of our emergency procedures information sheet. At Princess Cruises, we believe it is important for you to practice wearing your life jacket. Please remain in position while a member of the ship's company demonstrates correct wearing of the life jacket. I repeat, remain in position while a member of the ship's company demonstrates the correct wearing of the life jacket. You will have the opportunity to practice wearing your life jacket after this demonstration. Take the life jacket in both hands and place it over your head with the light section at the front. Connect the Velcro strips. 
pass the belt around your waist and connect the buckle by pushing the two parts firmly together. Pull the belt as tight as possible while holding onto the right hand pad. There is a light on your light jacket. This will activate automatically if you have to enter the water. There is a whistle for attracting attention in a pocket on the side. It must be stressed that you should only take to the water as a last resort. If this becomes necessary, you should use the method now demonstrated by a crew member at your master station. Using one hand, pinch your nose between your thumb and your forefinger and place the palm over your mouth. Bring your other arm across and tightly grip the side or shoulder of the light jacket to stop it riding up as you enter the water. Check that there is nothing in the water below you. Look straight ahead and step off. Do not jump. Special life jackets are available for children and infants weighing less than 32 kilos or 70 pounds. If these have not yet been provided, please ask your statement steward. On completion of today's instruction, please return your life jacket to your stateroom and, if you have not already done so, read the notice concerning emergency procedures. To avoid tripping yourself or others, please ensure that the life jacket straps do not trail on the deck. Please now stand and put on your life jacket. Members of the ship's company are in attendance to assist you. Just raise your hand if you need any help and uh, crew member will come on by. We're just going to check our life jackets in good working order. If you do have anything wrong with it, then just report straight away to your stay room steward and any places for you. You never know. Oh, so fast. Oh, it's broken, man. I gotta tell them. Hmm? It's broken. The... Oh, okay. But it's the whistle. No, there's Well, ladies thanks very much for attending this important safety briefing. Uh, welcome aboard, and we'll see you around the ship. Thank you. What's that? Thank you. 